will never forget the Champions League final against Lionel Messi. Since Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi first faced each other in La Liga in November 2012, the rivalry between the two best players in the world has grown to epic proportions. Both players have scored many goals against their direct competitor, but Messi has the edge when it comes to Champions League finals. In fact, Cristiano Ronaldo will never forget the Champions League final against Lionel Messi on June 6, 2015. This match will stick with him forever because he not only lost this match, but he lost a lot of money as well. The Rivalry? Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have been rivals for years. Their rivalry started when the two players were playing in Europe, but it was elevated to a whole other level when they both joined FC Barcelona in the summer of 2013. In May 2017, Real Madrid played Juventus in the UEFA Champions League final. It was one of the most anticipated matches of all time, with many expecting a great game between two world-class teams that would be decided by one goal. Cristiano Ronaldo went into the match hoping to finally beat Lionel Messi and win his fourth Champions League title, but after he missed an open goal opportunity in the first half, and then made up for it, Real Madrid conceded three goals. The second half of the match saw Barcelona playing defense with 10 men, while Real Madrid continued attacking without success. Eventually Real Madrid surrendered their 3-1 lead as Sergio Ramos committed a penalty which led to one goal from Paulo Dybala. Ronaldo wins individual trophies. Ronaldo has won the Ballon d'Or five times in a row, the European Golden Shoe four times and has been named FIFA World Player of the Year three times. He also won the Champions League with Manchester United in 2008. But his international career with Portugal is tarnished by never being able to win a major trophy despite reaching three European Championship finals and two World Cup semifinals. And this was supposed to be the chance for him to beat Messi and make up for that gap on his resume. Famed Portuguese soccer journalist Luis Lorenzo said, this will be Cristiano Ronaldo's last chance at a big title. But it all came crashing down when he missed a penalty kick in stoppage time that would have sealed victory over arch-rival Argentina in the round of 16 at Russia 2018. He looked despondent as he walked off the pitch. The consequences were immediate. His national coach Fernando Santos made him captain but left him out of the starting lineup for most of their matches at Euro 2020 qualifying. The next day they announced they had mutually agreed not to extend their contract beyond 2020. No one knows how long Ronaldo will play, but now everyone knows this is likely his last shot, their performance in the 2017-18 season. Cristiano Ronaldo is the reigning FIFA Player of the Year and is ranked as the best player in the world by most professional sports organizations. He has been playing for Real Madrid since 2009 and has helped them win three Champions League titles, two La Liga titles, one Copa del Rey, three UEFA Super Cups, two Club World Cups and four Spanish Super Cups. In 2017-18 he was an integral part of Real Madrid's success. He scored 42 goals across all competitions including two hat-tricks in the knockout rounds against Bayern Munich and Juventus respectively. His success didn't stop there, as he led his team to a 12th European title after beating Liverpool 3-1 in Kiev on May 26. It wasn't always easy though, with intense scrutiny following him during their match against Atletico Madrid which resulted in a 1-1 draw. With a lot of hope resting on their final game, many were waiting to see how they would respond. The build-up was huge but it turned out that what happened before the match had more significance than what happened inside it, Barcelona beat Valencia 2-0 and because of this, they will be playing Real Madrid in the 2019 Champions League final instead. Messi still leads, even when he loses. But this is not the time to be talking about the past, he said. We have a new game in front of us, and we need to give everything in order to win this one. I'm very happy with how I played, he continued. I gave my all, as always. But football is like that, sometimes things don't go your way. It's part of the game and you just have to accept it. He was once again beaten by an opponent who may not even realize how much he has come to mean to him. For Cristiano Ronaldo, it will never be easy to forget the Champions League final against Lionel Messi, which ended in a 3-1 victory for Barcelona. The Portuguese player was visibly down after the defeat and, when asked if he considered himself among the best players in history, replied, It doesn't matter what I think. Ask others. The contrast between his response after Wednesday's match and after Saturday's previous match could not have been more different. But there was no point in being bitter or dwelling on the past. 
there is a new match ahead and they need to give everything they've got in order to win it. I want to congratulate them because they were better than us, but also congratulate myself and my team because nobody thought we would get this far, so I am very proud, he told journalists gathered outside the mixed zone at Lisbon's Estadio de Luz after the final whistle blew.